okay. March 11th, 2021 planning board meeting. Um, I don't think I can appoint you as a voting member, Pastor Bill, because we got everybody. Okay. For the first time in a long time. Thank you, Chuck. Do, do we have Jack? Yes, we do. He's not saying anything, but he's there. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. The first item in the agenda is conceptual for a retail store at 455 South Stark Highway. Proposed use of commercial. Well, you retail. Anyway, Matt is on. Mike, Matt is here and Eamon. Okay. So, what do you got to tell us about this? Because it's not. Good, Good evening. My name is Matt Bombasi. I'm with Bowler Engineering. Uh, we're the civil engineers on the, the perspective project. Also, in the call is, is Eamon Moran, who is the applicant. He's with Abashan Realty Company. Um, we're just getting kicked off. Oh, sorry. Um, we're just getting kicked off on our, our due diligence and kind of getting the survey underway or soil testing underway. What we wanted to do was come in and just spend a quick 10 minutes with the board. If we could gather any initial feedback or comments or thoughts at this stage, it would just be helpful helpful for us to, to do it right the first time as opposed to coming in and, and getting your thoughts after we've kind of gone through the design. Um, the only thing I can, a couple of things I can think of is one, the I don't know what kind of retail you're using, you're proposing, volume wise. We have three different levels of parking standards for different retail uses. It appears that you are somewhere between medium and low. Yep, that's, that's what we expect. Naomi, would it be okay if I shared my screen or um, it's disabled right now? I guess if you're polite. I'm just I kidding. promise. I will not share anything. I'm not there you go. Go ahead, Matt. Awesome. Thank you. Can everybody see that? Yep. Yep. So this property, the 50, uh, 455 South Star Highway, just north of the, the self storage facility, looks like on the agenda after. After we are on the, the site right now is a, a red dwelling and garage, um, a couple of trailers parked in there. I'm sure everyone's um, familiar with it. Um, Eamon's looking to develop it with a 10,500 square foot um, retail store. The site's in the commercial district that's permitted by right. Um, this initial concept, which is done over an aerial, we tried to, to work around some of the things we saw in the zoning to, to come up with the layout that we just thought would be, be seen most favorably. In particular, there's a, um, the provision in the ordinance that if possible or it's encouraged to, to keep parking out of the front yard building setback so we so we've laid the building out um as close to the road as, as we can and putting the parking you know beside it to try to allow you know 50 feet of of landscape space and, and screening from from the road to the parking area and also try to lay it out so that the loading and the solid waste um, refusal would be behind the building and not between the building and self stark highway or are facing the highway um visibly. Um, the project is also partially within a potential aquifer protection district. So there's a, a very steep slope coming down the property where you kind of see this tree line here and then it then it flattens out and that's a sandy aquifer and aquifer being just an area of, of very sandy soils which, um, which infiltrate down into the ground. Um, we believe we'll need a conditional use permit with the planning board for that. Um, the standards associated with that are, are stormwater design and stormwater treatment. These are things we we honestly would, would have done anyways, um, but given the, given the, you know, the likely location, the aquifer protection district, we'll come up with a full stormwater design plan um, under NHDES stormwater requirements to, to satisfy any, any concerns relative to that. Um, one item we wanted to bring up to the board and, and you already, um, you already kind of jumped, jumped the gun on it, and <laughs> on it is, is parking. Um, the uses we're expecting pretty low, um, low generation, trip generation uses. So uses that aren't gonna generate a lot of trips like a coffee shop, a gas station, things like that. And, and a retail use is gonna have a lot, of, a lot of floor space compared to the number of customers. So not like a, a grocery store, which has you know, a, lot of, a lot of customers coming at one time. So for that reason, they only expect to need about 30 parking spaces, which will likely require a waiver from the, the zoning, particularly if, depending on how we're classified, if we were classified as a, as a medium um, intensity use. Um, we have the space for additional parking and we could always provide it if it was required. We just thought it would be a waste to do so when we could just leave it as green space or, or grass or trees and things like that and, 
have it available should we ever need it. Um, we think that makes sense, but it was one of the, the key things we want to present to the board just to make sure that you thought that made sense because we could, again, we could lay out the parking with more parking. We, we just know we don't need it. And, um, and again, we could always provide it um, if we needed to. Where would you where where would you have additional parking available? Sure, I mean we could extend the parking in in northerly on this side of the property um, for for quite a ways and pick up some additional parking. Um, we could also put it along along the back here, although we'd like to avoid that area. But there's certainly room for parking um, if we needed it. Again, we just don't think we will. Could could you tell us what kind of retail this is going to be? Um, sure, sure, Eamon. Eamon, I don't think is, is qu quite sure right now. He um, he works as Abishan Realty Company, so I think he he dabbles in a in a few different types of retail. Uh, uh, Eamon, do you have a, an idea at this stage, or still sure. kind of working that out? Yeah, sure. Um, thanks. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Eamon Moran. I'm the president of the Abishan Realty Company, as uh, Matt had said. Um, it's too early to say. Uh, I can't get a retailer kind of, uh, as I say, on the hook or uh, with a signed lease until I get some permits in place, and so. We develop real estate naturally for the Obishan Hardware Company, which is a regional hardware chain in the Northeast. We develop um, real estate for several auto parts stores, O'Reilly Auto Parts, for example. And then we also develop real estate for Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree. Um, none of those folks are in this market. And so from my position, we um, spoke with Mr. Lassard, Dennis Lassard, the owner of the property, and said, hey, Dennis, are you interested in selling? Dennis is down in Florida. Six months of the year, he said, yes, I would be. Um, so we put the property under agreement. We have not purchased it yet. And then I hired Matt to kind of give me an idea of if I could build, you know, retail commercial onto the site. Uh, we have an indication that we could buy right. And so we're kind of forging ahead. Um, oh, sorry, my three-year-old just walked in. I'm on a meeting. Sorry about that, guys. Um, she's supposed to be in bed. Uh, <laughs> that's the work from home uh, uh, planning board meeting <laughs> that happens. But anyways, uh, so uh, what we'd hope to do is to uh, permit the building and then we'd go talk to the retailers that we talked to. The, the, the reason for the question is that Matt indicated that there was going to be a lot of space in the building in relationship to the floor area. So I assume that you had something particular in mind to justify going from a medium use to a low or medium, low medium use for parking purposes. That was the reason for the question. Yeah, and, and I mean, sort of our experience with the retailers that I mentioned um, all kind of fit that model. Um, some of the buildings like O'Reilly Auto Parts would want a smaller building. Um, but uh, for in terms of an inventory size of the space and what Matt had mentioned, yeah, we, we kind of have a feel for like who would be interested. We just don't have anyone again on the hook. So how, Craig, how, how, do you, how do you talk about parking places until you know the usage and the demand? Well, I think we'd have to have a pretty good idea when we go to finalize the site plan, have a pretty good idea what the parking is going to be at that point or what the occupant's going to be. And it, I think well, one thing, go ahead. I was going to say, yeah, one thing we can do is if, if we're even a little bit unsure about it at that time, we can break it down for for all the potential uses and, and that can be kind of made part of the record. So if, if, he's, if Eamon's, you know, between a few different uses, we can, you know, break down the anticipated parking demand for, for each of them and make sure that it would be acceptable for, for, for any of the possibilities. That's a, that's a good idea. Well, even worst case, we could show a grass parking area for future use and all you have to do is cut down some trees, grub it, level it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I've, 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 I've had to do that, uh, Craig, in the past where we just say, hey, if we wanted, if the town, if it fits the town, this is the area where we'd, we'd further develop if the town right. determines that additional parking is needed. And it would be probably where Matt showed at the north part of the site. We'd just show a couple more spaces. I just would prefer not to develop more space than we need to. Um, right. Matt would have to tell us and we could more investigate this more if we don't know now, but um, the various people that we would try and work with if they're, if they're all in the same class or different classes. What, um, what's the building going to look like? Is it going to be a cement block building kind of thing? Um, it would most likely be a wood stick building. I don't know if you guys have heard, but steel prices are out of control uh, the, and wood is as well. Steel is 
hard to come by right now. Um, and so we would probably be dining, designing a, a stick, a stick built, built building. Um, but uh, I haven't even engaged an architect because we really wanted to check your guys temperature here and see, you know, what your, what your thoughts were. One concern I have, I did picked up the, the GIS, <laughs> believe it or not, it shows the pond right about where you have the end of your parking lot. Yeah, I saw that too, Craig, and I, Maybe it's in the. I pulled in some lidar data and did some topo, and there's no pond there. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. We, um, yeah. We've had... we've walked the site. Okay. So Matt has a technical kind of part to this, but I've walked the site. My father walked the site. My colleague walked the site. I can't find where that would be wet near those trees, but Matt has more of a technical response to that. Yep. Yeah. We had um we have a wetland scientist on the team, Tom Sokolowski, who lives not too far from here. He was actually out there for the first time today, poking around. Um, he he did his augers um to check for hydric soils and wetland species. He didn't find anything. There were a couple areas, I believe, to the south of the site which were iced over, so he couldn't confirm that there was no hydric soils. But basically, he has no indication of certainly no indication of a pond and. And fairly certain there's no wetlands on site, just has to confirm that once uh, things thaw out just a little bit more. Yeah, Tom, look at it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I don't have it. It looks like a long way for a truck to back up to unload, but other than that, I don't really have any questions. Yep, nope, just uh, so the board's aware, we'll be filing for other permits concurrently with the board. We'll be filing um, with NHDES for septic and well permits, which is pretty customary, and we'll also be filing for a uh, for a DOT permit, we'll be removing um, this kind of an existing yep. driveway apron here and, and the existing driveway, just putting one driveway in. Do you have any idea where you put the septic in the well? Um, almost, the septic almost certainly go in the front, just given the slope in the back. And we know that the soils in the front are, are mapped to be, you know, well suited for it. So the, the septic will be somewhere along the, the, the self start highway frontage. The well um, kind of inherently is gonna wanna go um, Kind of tucked in the back somewhere because um, NHD also want us to keep the the highest possible separation to to septic and stormwater and things yep. like that. Is it is it the practice to always have a single tenant or multiple tenants in this kind of a building? In this uh, style and size of building, given the orientation, my anticipation would be a, it would be a single tenant. Thank you. You mentioned uh, four different uh, prospective customers, let's say. So are we guaranteed it'll be one of those four? I can't guarantee that. No, I, I mean, I, I have to, um, I know, I think there's demand, right? And so the first part is permitting it, designing it with you folks. Um, and then the next part is going to market it, uh, you know, with a broker or trying to, trying to sign a lease. Um, we are most active with those individuals. We have um, relationships. I can't guarantee it's going to be one of the four that um, we're talking about, but I have a hunch if we do a deal, it will be with one of those four. Anybody else have any questions? Well, I think it's pretty straightforward myself. Uh, Craig, can you tell me what the building or the white spot is uh, near the road opposite the point where the 75, yeah, that one. And, and also that white, the white spot up a couple inches, again, along the road. That's Dennis's carport and then Dennis's um, box, you know, uh, 18 uh, box trucks, trailers that he has on his site. I see. Thank you. Existing conditions. If I may pass the bill, you can feel free to ask questions just because you're not a voting member. Oh, yes. Can't participate. You have any other questions for us? I don't, like I said, I don't really see any issue. DOT permit, you got to get a septic system. Yep. No, no, that was, we really appreciate the feedback. I know it, it seems like a quick conversation, but now we can be ready to, to just give you some of that additional data for the parking you were looking for. And, and we look forward to, to coming in with a, with a more formal application in a, in a real design. You're, you're, you're not going to have a hundred thousand square feet disturbance. I can't imagine. Nope. No, we won't be uh, triggering alteration terrain. We'll be under that. The only thing else I can think of is uh, I'm, the conditional use permit would be for, for the aqua protection, the, what the, 
infiltration has to be the same as if it's only 10%, I believe is what it says. Yeah. And, so, and we, like, so it shouldn't be a problem because that's all sand. So I'm, it should infiltrate pretty good. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, you think? Yeah. yeah. There's no place to drain water off anyway there, Craig. That's kind of a bowl right there with the roads high on one side and hills high in the back. Got no place to go, but infiltrate. That shouldn't be an issue. Mm. Matt, do we think we can get back in front of the, the group next April? I mean, next April. Is that by coming April? We don't know yet on timing. Uh, we don't know yet. We still got some of the, the reports coming. But if not if not April, certainly um, the, the following month. May. Okay. One question. Uh, what are you looking at a timeline to get this project up and running? Um, I have a uh, signed purchase and sale agreement with Mr. Lassard. That's good until June. Um, Dennis lives in Florida, like I said. He said, hey, if, uh, you know, if I want to, if I have to move all my stuff, he has a fair amount of stuff on the site. Uh, he would, I, I told him I would give him until July. And then I would work from the time I get a permit through when Dennis is kind of moved out, if I thought we could, you know, try and get a deal together with a tenant. And then we'd start sometime in late summer and then hopefully wrap, wrap up by the end of the year before the snow flies. You know, do you like sell a property to tenant or do you lease it? Say again? You sell the property to the end user, or do you lease it? No, we, we're developers, so we would we would hope, hope to sign a sign a lease with a a, a, a retailer, presumably here, mm -hmm. and sign a lease with them, and then build them the building, and then they would occupy the building, and we would uh, uh, receive a rent. Okay. I also take it you're going to demo the existing structure that's there now, the existing house. Yeah, Dennis's house is pretty is pretty uh, tired. Um, and then he's got a bunch <laughs> of carports, you know, he, Dennis said that, so I'm not insulting him by any means. Uh, and he's got a couple like, you know, non fixtured structures like carports and the like, cause he's, he's a car collector as well. So at that point you'll get all your permits to demo that, that structure then also. Yeah, Matt, we would have our permits in place with, uh, the board. Right. And then we'd have to get a building permit and that sort of thing for demolition and. I don't have any other questions. Awesome, excellent. Thanks, thanks again. Really appreciate um, everybody's time, and, and we look forward to, to meeting with you hopefully in the near future. Yes, thank you. See you in a couple thanks. months. Thanks, thanks you. guys. Thank you, Naomi, for coordinating this. Have a nice thanks. night. Uh, the next item on the agenda is safely stores continuation. So I will step down. And Bruce has to remember to appoint Pastor Bill. I can do that. <laughs> I can step down. Uh, oh. Pastor Bill is a voting member for this hearing. Okay. Um, we went on a site walk last weekend to, to look at sites, see where the wall was going. See how much room it looked like there was. Um, and I um I had seemed to recall some notes on a previously approved plan that weren't on the plan that is before us. Um, so I went down to town hall, went through the file, and I found the signed plan that. I had signed when they added the outdoor storage. And there are um, several pertinent notes on there that didn't get put on this new plan. I'm sure it was just an oversight. <clears throat> um, but it, it, a couple of them are about, um, if I can, if you can share the screen with me, Naomi, I can show everybody what the notes are. Okay, go ahead, Bruce. I got to figure out how to do it. Share screen. Screen one. Can you see that? Oh. Not yet. No. No. 
if you have to hit share screen again after you hit screen one. Why is it so difficult? Bruce, you have a list up there. Can you swap places with the list? You have a commercial district, purpose of plan. You have like a timeline. Oh. So if you can put your plan in place of that, you'll be all right. Yeah, this is from the, you're right, I got to that doesn't do it, huh? Stop sharing. Nope. How about now? That's good. There you go. So these are the notes that were on the previously approved plan. Um, this note four is not there, which is the note I re remember that that's the reason why I went looking for it. It specifies what can be stored outside. Um, and there's a couple other notes on here. Note number 10 weren't for the hours operation. Um, note 11 wasn't brought over. Note 12 and 13. Um, and then this is a clip of the, can you see this? Yes. There's a little note right here. It says no, nothing's to be disturbed within 15 feet of Route 114. Um, that's, that's not on there. And then these two evergreen trees never got planted. I see there's some things that, that are planted there. It looks like there's three plantings there, but none of them are evergreen trees. Um, So I guess those would need to be included, added onto the plan. And then it, we got a cut sheet on what the wall would look like from, from Andy before we went out there on Saturday. And it was actually not just plain block like he had said during the last meeting, it was a textured face block. So it, um, where he shows the wall, it would be nice if he added on there that's it's textured block not, not just plain concrete as he had indicated. Um, so those are things I came across. Anybody else have anything? Uh, Bruce? Yes. Were, the, um, were all of the other plantings, I noticed the two that you mentioned are dark in color, um, but there are a whole bunch of other plantings, yeah, right along there look to be the same thing, but they're not dark. Does that, is that well, at, at the time of this plan, um, these were in, and these dark ones were proposed. But 
Are those that I don't think all of those trees are in there now. There are some, but not all of them. Yes, they're all there. Yeah. Craig, Craig did an actual count and put those blocks and put those um, in there. No, I'm, the actual I mean, count of plants. So every one of them, the squares and the rounds are in. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. And in, in here, I mean, I took, I took a look at this today. I drove by there. And I mean, there's three, there's three bushes there that, that got planted, which I think probably was supposed to be these, the bushes, but there was, there was no evergreens planted. And I don't know if these were planted up here. I, I didn't notice that. Um, there are three, there are three planted in the old driveway. Yeah. Yeah. Area. But yeah, but they're, they're like arborvitae or something. They're not, they're not evergreens. Well, an arborvitae is an evergreen. Well, there's nothing on them right now. I mean, they're not arborvitae then. They're, they're devoid of anything right now. Right now they're sticks. You're talking about up by the old driveway? No, right, but right in front of your fence, between the telephone pole oh, and your gate. They, they, they are evergreens. They may have died. That's, that's a real, it's a real rough place to plant because it's all gravel. So yeah. I'll know in the spring whether they died, and if they did, I'll replace them. Okay. Um, so, I, and I, I, I already sent um, Bedford Design a copy of the notes that were missing. When I found them yesterday, I sent them off. Um, and the wall, I mean, we looked at the wall. I don't think anybody, once we saw where, where it was, and, and I don't think anybody had a problem with the wall. Did anybody? Neil? Nope. No, no it was fine. Yeah. So that was um, I guess that was essentially it. That's what we that's what we're looking at. So if we everybody want to make a motion to get that stuff it, it, it and that those those could just be added and just block put back on that's up here about the no cutting up here. I'm not even touching that area. So Bruce, could you give us the notes that you want replaced or or yeah, from the old, I, I can give you the numbers if you want. Yeah, from the old that's point. fine. Yep. Yeah, note four, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Okay, I move that we approve the plan subject to the following conditions that the two evergreen trees by the telephone pole near the gate be replaced if in fact they're dead, that the following notes be added to the plan uh, from the previously approved plan, notes 4, 10, 11, 12, and 13, and the block, I can't read that, Bruce. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, relating to existing trees remaining within 15 feet of New Hampshire Route 140, be added to the uh, plan. And the block wall be a textured. Yes. And that, thank you. And that the wall be of textured concrete. The proposed wall be of textured concrete. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Okay. Um, I think that's it for that. I stopped sharing. The, um, Cal, you want to text Craig? Tell him we're all, we're all set with this. Oh, there he is. Hello. You still there? We yeah, there you are. Okay. Don't leave top of my head at least, right? Okay. Welcome back. Uh, the only thing else we have is 
minutes from the 28th, January 28th and 25th. January 28th and February 25th, yes. I right, good night, guys. I get minutes from the 25th. Pardon me? I ran them both today. I'm okay with them. Like the fellow's name that said uh, he was interested in being a member was on the one of the sets of minutes. Yes, text, right? I got that actually. I got a draft email already ready to finish up tonight. There on. Yeah, I don't have any problems with them either. Well, I'm not going to vote on the 25th because, to be honest, I didn't want here very long. But. Anything on the 28th of January minutes? No. Was that a motion, Bruce, or is that just a Yeah, note? I'll make a motion to okay. approve. Second. January 28th minutes. Seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. February 25th minutes. I make a motion to approve February 25th minutes as written. Second. <clears throat> Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I abstain. Abstain. Okay, um, I get site walks. I got minutes from the 27th, too. Yeah, those are really good minutes, Greg. I didn't even see him. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the site walk minutes from the 27th. We have a second. Second. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Stain. You get a vote for anything, Jack. No, it wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we need to talk about? Did everybody get the Saturday, May 15th training, planning and zoning training up conference? Yes. Okay. Anybody signing up? Saturday, no. May 15th? It's scheduled for May 15th. Registration starts March 29th. Was Billy, anything... you send those to me, please. Sure. Thank you. Was it anything good? It's the 27th annual Spring Planning and Zoning Conference. Well, while you're yeah. resending it, yes, I'll, I might as well, well resend it to me too. Sure, I can resend it to everybody. I may have deleted it because I thought it was from Kelly and probably a bunch of junk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey. I, will, I, I will mail it to your home then. <laughs> well, at least I know you're awake. <laughs> and, Anything else for tonight? No, I think that's all I had. Move to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.